So I made a really silly mistake when I was pulling these main power wires through the uh, conduits here. I laid out all three wires, all excited, taped the ends together real quick, whatever, fished them through the conduit, and then realized I forgot to mark one of them to be my neutral. So two of them will be the primary hop lines, and then one is your neutral, which can only be white, but it's all, you know, all the same looking cable, I didn't get a white cable. Um, so I had to figure out a way to figure out what was what, so what I did was I took this little piece of uh, 12 gauge wire that we had run over to the water well temporarily, unhooked it from the well, just picked one wire at random, stripped the end, hooked it up with the black, hooked the other to the ground, and then ran upstairs to the other sub panel, which is where these wires go to, and uh, I already have one of those stripped, and I just happened, just got lucky that the one I had stripped upstairs was the one I need down here. So ran upstairs uh, with my electrical tester, put the neutral on the, on the ground, and then just tested the other ends of the, the three big wires up there to figure out which one is the wire that's carrying the current. So like I said, I got lucky that the one that I stripped was my first test wire, and I had stripped the end of it upstairs when I was tinkering around trying to figure it out. It's the right one. So I'm going to go ahead and hook this one in. I'm going to mark it, and then go ahead and hook it in with the neutral lug as well, just so I remember uh, for sure what it is. And then I'll have to do the same little test on these wires. They go back over to the main panel over there, so I'll have to do the same little test to figure out which one of the three black wires is uh, essentially my, my big white wire, my big neutral. So anyway, happy I got this one figured out, at least I can wire this in. I'll test the other one real quick, and then at least my big main wires will run, and I can start running all the smaller wires for lighting circuits and receptacles and stuff. Just thought I'd show you guys how I figured that it was a stupid mistake, but easy to fix. All right, well, one done. <laughs> it's not anything special, but I gotta say, it's my first time ever wiring up a main breaker box. I've swapped out breakers and wired up downstream receptacles, but it's nothing different. Just hooking up bigger wires. So you can see we've got two primary leads coming in here that'll carry in our two 120 volts. So this box will be able to carry 240 because um, it'll power the electric dryer, the electric stove, and then of course just the one neutral and then the one ground. So time to run downstairs. I'll have to test again to get that other circuit figured out which one's my neutral and get it wired up and then I'll be done with all this sub panel wiring. All right, box number two, which is technically box number one in the system, got it wired up. So you can see my main leads come in from the main panel outside. Um, neutral, hot, hot, of course ground is copper. And then um, this neutral coming in, this is the neutral going back out to the upstairs panel. And my two hots from the upstairs panel are tied in with this 125 amp double pull breaker. So this is essentially the main breaker to go on for the panel upstairs. Um, and subsequently for this panel, there'll be another 125 amp double pull in the breaker panel outside. So I'm gonna go get the outside box wired up. That way my stuff there is done. And uh, yeah, maybe then I can power, call the power company and have them actually come tie in permanent at some point. Okay, so I just screwed the faceplate on. I don't feel like taking it back off to show you guys, but this is our main panel outside. And so what we have here again is another 125 amp breaker. This is our 200 amp main, and then we've got a 125 amp that feeds to the sub panels in the house. So 125 feeds the first sub panel, and then as I showed you, 125 feeds out of that panel to the next panel um, to keep the whole place wired up. But this still gives us an outside uh, main, which the power companies really prefer, they really like. Um, we make all sorts of crazy rules whenever you want to try to put your brake panel inside. So this gives us an option to go right here. If there's ever a concern, ever an issue, she kill power with the house, they can kill this one or they can kill the 200, which I imagine they would just kill the main. Um, anyway, but yeah, the way it's wired up, my wires are coming in through the back and the wall. Again, two conductors, one neutral, one ground. On your main panel, the neutral and the ground tie into the same uh, bar. And so I've got them hooked in, neutral tied it up top with here with the main lug. And I put the ground on the other side just through a big uh, um, side port where you'd put in your smaller neutral wires actually, but it was bigger than my ground wire so it worked. And then of course just my two main wires coming in. So at this point, technically, I could have the power company come and actually move the meter from the tent pole there uh, over to here and wire all this up as a permanent box. I'm not going to do that yet because I don't have any receptacles wired off this yet. So. If they come and move it over, then I'm without power as far as a quick receptacle. So try to find somewhere inside to wire up some receptacles um, here in the next few days or whatever, and then we can have them come to this wall.